10 bucks. I am freaking not kidding. Look at that. $10. Our first thrift store in Jacksonville. Let's see what they got. I did look at all the shoes that they had here, including the men's, but I couldn't find any that I wanted to resell or any for myself for that matter. Okay, so I'm going to show you everything that we got at the St. Vincent de Paul. I wasn't able to do it in the store, but we're going to do it in the back of the car. So I did get six of these Mr. Potato Heads. All of them have different outfits on and different parts. And I paid uh, $3 a piece for each one of these. I ended up spending $53.21 at this store too, by the way. Uh, I got this men's Obermeyer Sports sure Obermeyer does pretty well and I got a Jets jacket it's in really good condition see right there also picked up this vintage Wilson Jack Kramer polo it's like brand new not sure how well this will do I couldn't really find any comps on it but it was in such good condition and it's a Wilson so I went ahead and picked it up and I also picked up this super cute it's common salsa sweaters never heard of it before but I had to pick it up because of all this pattern on it look at that all these women golfing they are so adorable and they're all like 3d 
So look these up. Look up these sweaters. They're really cool. They have a ton of different uh, patterns and different themes on them. You should check them out. And they look like they go for good money as well. All right, the next piece I picked up was this uh, women's J. Crew wool double-breasted jacket in red. It's absolutely beautiful. It is a size zero, but it's just in fantastic condition. Super, super nice. And then last but not least from this store, we picked up a pair of Rydell ice skates. They even came with the guards on the bottom, which is super nice. They are a smaller size. I think they're like a size five, but they should still do pretty well. Should still get around 50, 45 to 50 for these and pay $3. So I'll try to clean up these scuffs on the front, but otherwise they're in really good condition. And we did take off the guards just to check the blades and they're not chopped up or anything. They're really nice. We did good at our St. Vincent de Paul. Now we're gonna try this one. It's called Beam Thrift and they help homeless and people that need food. Oh, it's pretty. Good. Yeah. You don't think of it like this. Yeah. This is a nice thrift store. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat idea. Christmas gift certificate. Those are cool. Cracking me up. You still reading that same book? Yeah, I'm reading the Rudolph the Nasally Empowered Reindeer. <laughs> Looks like this is what we're taking out of this store. All right, let me show you what we got inside this beam thrift that we were just in. I ended up picking up this uh, Patagonia Cinchilla. Super nice jacket. I did pay $25 for it, but I'll be looking to get right around $100, maybe a little bit less. So I will pay up for that. And it's a size medium. And then I picked up this uh, Goose Down, the North Face women's jacket. I paid up a little bit for this $15, um, but it's a size medium. It does have some marks on it. It looks like, I don't know. Maybe like some dirt marks or something like right in here, but I'm going to take it home and pre-treat it. Other than that, it's in really good condition. Uh, there's no rips, holes, tears, nothing like that. Just those little marks. All the pockets are nice. So yeah, hopefully I should, I should make a decent amount off of this one as well. And then these are the last items that we picked up. I got this super sweet... House of Hatton baby's first Christmas doll. It's an ornament hanging on the tree. I had to pick this up. Uh, I think, what did I pay for this? $2. Still new in the bag. Vintage. Love this. Not sure. I couldn't find any of these on eBay or anything, but I'll look on Etsy and stuff before I list it. 
And I got this for my own tree. Isn't he super cute? It's adorable. It's going on my Christmas tree. Uh, you know me and Vionics. I had to pick these up. These are like a um, velvet loafer. So these are going for real good, decent money on eBay. And they're in great condition. Those are. And then my last little guy, of course, had to get the gopher from <laughs> Caddyshack. If you've ever seen that, it's a golf club. Uh, he goes over top of a golf club. And yeah, picked him up, I think. What do we pay for him? Um, two bucks, two bucks for that little guy. So yeah, we did really good at that Beam thrift store. And then um, we're about to go down the road to another Beam thrift. It's a little bit smaller than the one we were just in. And I'll show you what we picked out of there. Okay, we're at their other little mini location. <laughs> Let's check this one out. husband lets me sell that I'll be shocked <laughs> completely shocked oh my god he said I'm gonna answer it right now it's a big fat no but if he wouldn't have been with me boy I'd have had that listed in a hot second <laughs> before he saw it all right all right if you're getting that to me bag then uh you gotta go through those golf clubs. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, look at all those uh, snow boots. There's a lot of stuff in this place. I don't think we're making it to Goodwill. <laughs> what do you think, babe? Pretty sure not. I would rather be here. <laughs> your mother doesn't work here. Clean up your own mess. Yeah, I think this is probably where we're gonna hang out. Look, these are all just Lego pieces and they're selling them by the tubs. 20 bucks a tub. I don't, I don't really know anything about Legos. Not really. Like this place is a honey hole. This is totally my my kind of place. It's right up my alley. Totally my kind of place. So many goodies. those uh tv ear things up there dad used to always try to get You stay there. <laughs> so much to see. Oh, okay. So you can't go past this part. You got to go in there. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh. Tone Master. Okay, here's what we pulled out of this beam. Couldn't believe it. You probably saw in the video that this Toomey was just hanging out there. 
on the ground. I bought dyed for 10 bucks. Killer, killer deal. My husband already registered it. Of course he did. <laughs> so can't sell it. <laughs> and then uh, picked up two of these. They're brand new. They're golf towels. They are vintage. Uh, they're called the putter pocket towel. And you can see from the image right there. Um, there's only one other Lynx Walker that's even actually listed or sold on eBay. And it sold, I think, for like $30. So uh, I'm hoping these do pretty well. I got two of them. I paid four bucks a piece for them. And then I did pick up two remotes from here. And this one is a West Marine. So it's for a, a boat radio. And these were only a buck a piece and it's got the little uh, compartment there. And then this one, I'm going to put the comps up here for this one. You will be shocked to see. This is why I pick up some remotes is because of the ridiculous amount that some of these sell for. So I'm going to put that over in the corner for you. And I needed a cord for a PS2. So here's that. And then I picked up this uh, Wilson bag right here. It's the K-Factor. This is the newer bag when I looked it up right here. And I believe this one was selling for around 45 to 50. This one's in really, really good condition too. And today must have been bag day. <laughs> and then I also picked up this Hartman. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know Hartman is one of the brands that I look for. And this is an all leather laptop briefcase really nice just got a little bit of darkening on the leather there but that's not uncommon for this brand it's just nice and worn in it's really really nice uh i may end up even putting this one on auction i'm not sure i haven't decided yet but these are the items that we pulled out of that one that last place was awesome so let's see their goodwill prices Uh huh. Yep. Huh? <laughs> it's good if you're looking for something for a specific color, I guess. Kids prices. No prices aren't too bad here. Got that Sundance blouse, super cute. For I think the blouses are $4.99. This cute little bag right here. Going to Grandma's. Got it for $2.99. And then of course the hubs coming out of here with the JBL <laughs> speaker for $25. Thanks for watching. See you next time.